right now the best thing that we can get out of differentiation is talking about gradients of curves. Um, that's the main purpose of uh, using calculus and differentiation. Um, so that dy by dx is our gradient function. It tells us how to calculate the gradient at any point on our curve y. So the gradient of the curve at a given point is the gradient of the tangent at that point. So it looks like this. We've got a curve, and say we wanted to know what the gradient was at 4, we would need to draw a tangent at that point and calculate the gradient of that tangent. That would tell us what the gradient of the curve was there. So we can actually do this by calculating dy by dx and working out what that's equal to when x equals 4. Okay, normals. If we've got this uh, picture again, the normal goes 90 degrees to the tangent. Okay, so at that same point, you could work out the tangent, the gradient of the tangent, and you can find the gradient of the normal because they're at 90 degrees. Now, the fact that they're at 90 degrees means that we get this result. So if we call the gradient of the tangent m, then the gradient of the normal would be minus 1 over m, or the negative reciprocal. Let's see how we actually use these in some examples. So we want to find the gradient of this curve when x is 3. So we work out our gradient function first. Then we substitute in x equals 3. And we've got the gradient is 2. Now we'll find the gradient of the normal to the curve when x equals 1 for this particular curve in example 2. I'm just going to rewrite that as powers so it's easier to differentiate. So differentiate each term one at a time and now substitute in x equals 1. So this gives us the gradient of the curve um, at x equals 1. And if we want the gradient of the normal, that will be the negative reciprocal. Now, 11.5 is the same as 23 over 2, so the negative reciprocal would be minus 2 over 23.